ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Trolls of the Two Time Bridges podcast. Uh, my name is Greg Dykes and I will be your dungeon master for this evening. We would like to apologize for the recent uh, turbulence that has been experienced by the podcast. The lack of podcasts going out has been due to circumstances beyond our control. We would like to reassure all of our regular listeners that the uh, usual scheduled programming will now be commencing again. In the meantime, if you'd like to sit back, relax, and learn any more about our podcast, you can find our information all over the social medias at T-O-T-T-B Podcast. That's T-O-T-T-T-B Podcasts. But I invite you now to uh, avail yourself of the refreshments. Uh, please ask any stewardesses if you have any issues. Keep all hands and feet inside the aircraft at all times. And I wish you all a very, very pleasant evening and join us for adventure. Percival Silverlight. Kalaho, the debt collector, is joining us in our quest to locate Taban, a local gladiator who has besmirched the name of the merchant prince Akene's son, Tyrek. And he also owes some money. We went to find Taban in his local watering hole and discovered that he is a large and intimidating tabaxi with a few tricks up his sleeve. Unfortunately for Kalahu, she has just fallen to Taban's sword. Adventure! She falls down, she hits her head, and she also lands in a... Uh in, in a pile of a pile of muck, basically. Uh, it's not it's not exactly uh, a dignified way to die. Yeah. No, not die. But you know what I mean. You go down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, not, um, or not. Who knows? She might be dead. She might be. Yeah. I'm not guys, sure now. You guys <laughs> don't. I'm just. I, I haven't made up my mind yet. I'll whisper you to say whether she's dead or not, mate. All right. All right. Yep. I think that's a better idea because then, yeah, yeah, that could. You could have changed your mind. You could have. Yep. Anyway. Uh, so that is your go. Is there anything else you want to do on your turn, though, to ban? No, because I've used my bonus action, my action, and I don't intend to move. Okay. Right then. So we move around to Siliqui then. Siliqui, you have a thug in front of you, and you heard him call to somebody and heard a door open behind you. Uh, Zibi has run up to you, but you haven't actually heard this exchange. You've seen T- Taban attack, but if you want to sort of... What do you mean exchange? You mean the exchange with Taban? Because I was about to say, yeah. otherwise the guy in front of me, I would have absolutely heard him call for the other guy. Cause he yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you'd, yeah, you heard that Yeah, you heard that guy <laughs> call. Uh, what you yeah. didn't hear was the little exchange between Percival and Taban. You just sort of, all you've really seen is Taban strike, and you've not even really seen what happened to um, Kalahu or Percival. Can I ask, though? Yes. Sorry, to, I don't mean to jump in um Mm -hmm. i i understand that i was holding my attack for if he was going to attack me but do i lose that attack given the situation dm dm repeat that's a dm Uh, call so or is it like one in a barrel for the next round i think it wouldn't be one in a barrel it would would just mean here's the thing because i understand the spirit of what you were saying Mm -hmm. percival you were saying that you were keeping an eye out for what taban did next and would respond as a result, you did say if he goes for me. Yes. However, I think in the spirit of it, if you want to attack him now that he's just attacked Kalahu, yeah. I will say you can do. Yeah, I'm not. Um, at no point am I suggesting that I attack to stop Kalahu from getting hit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I, I don't think that that would be correct. Yeah, it's not yeah. necessarily an auto thing because yeah, he didn't exactly. attack you. Yes. Yeah. And that was what you sort of specifically I mean, said. Sure, if you, I mean if you want to if you want to bend the rules just to get around and, and do it, Percy, that's that's I mean that's fine. That's the only <laughs> way you can beat me. It's okay. I don't blame you. It's it's cool. I am pretty awesome. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. I I've, I've so, read your blog. 
Uh, so before <laughs> before Silicky takes her turn, then are you are you going to make your attack? Uh, You're ready to attack then, Percival? Yes, or? actually. Yeah. Um, okay. Yes, per- Percival will attack. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say, John, yeah. don't edit this. So it's just me going. I'm awesome every single time I'm talking because I've realised I've done that like three sure, times now. Sure, you it, have. it makes a change from me saying it. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Yeah. You are going to edit it. So, yeah, but the difference is that I'm saying it in my voice, not in Taban's voice. So people, people think, oh, this guy thinks he's the nuts now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Sean guy. Which, to be clear, I do think I'm the nuts, but I just don't want the world to think that I'm an arsehole. It's all right. We've only got five listeners. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. And they'll understand. So. <laughs> Sasquatch right. minis, we're talking to you. <laughs> um, Shout out. So, <laughs> right. So I've got advantage on this because you are being flanked. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I'm rolling 2d20s there. So I've got uh, 50. So that's a dirty 20 for uh, the first hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. That hits. That okay. Hit. So that is a, uh, uh, so that's 13 points of damage. Oh, oh. Mean so, uh, Percival <laughs> slashes him with the rapier, and then mm-hmm. uh, he then would like to to spend his action surge and do another mm. slash right across the face of uh, Taban. What is your what are your action surge? Does it take anything to do, or is it just you? No, it's a it? bonus action. Uh, I can't a bonus do the bonus action, action. you did have can't. yeah you can't do that right. you can't that's yeah, two, yeah two Actually, things it's not, it's not true that's not true I'm I'm wrong my action surge isn't oh, a bonus oh, action oh yeah yeah it's one additional action on your turn yeah it's not it's, bonus it's a fee it's a it's a it's basically a feature yep trait mm. rather than a bonus action so you, as long as you do an attack isn't it you can then do an, an attack uh, but does that does that apply when you do uh, a held it. action does that apply because the action is to attack the action isn't holding to do your action well it's, it, all it actually says is uh, oh you can take one additional action on your turn it's not your turn that's the guess thing yes. it's, it's te- it wasn't it wasn't a, yeah it was to ban turn though. okay sorry i yeah. thought it was your turn yeah no, i yeah so i don't think more like can, a, re- a reaction isn't it yeah i don't think you can do that yeah that yeah. is cool. So yeah, it's fair. It's it's sort of a fair enough point, but yeah. I think yeah, I'm going to rule in favour of the ban. So the here. first bit, you still did some damage. The general rule of holding is you can hold one action. Yes. That's the best way to look at it. Yeah. yeah, and then you use a reaction to perform that action, whatever it was. Yeah. No, it's not. Okay. It's not even a reaction on that. Oh yeah, no, I don't even. Yeah, tell yeah, you yeah, what, yeah, one, yeah, one of your yeah. one of your five listeners is going to comment in the comment <laughs> section that we're all wrong <laughs> and actually. Here's Probably. the ruling on page 157 of the yeah, player's yeah. handbook. You're all a bunch of idiots, but that Sean guy, he's great. That guy's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Siliqui, it is a long last round to you. You have a thug in front of you. Hello. So, Siliqui is going to use... I've forgotten what the hell the weapon is. It's been so long. It's what Michi. we decided was her... The bow? Yeah, the bow. Oh, which the is bow. basically... We're using the quarter staff, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A bow is in B.O. rather than... <laughs> Siliqui's B.O. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Siliqui spells fresh. Anyway, so she is going to use stench cloud. <laughs> anyway, let That's her let her, let her take her turn. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Like you, you know. <laughs> so she's going to smack Thug Righty mm? uh, with her bow for her first action. Natural one. So nope. Uh, you you lose your footing. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, monk. yeah, you yeah, you you one. Got really good one. You got a natural one. <laughs> Punish natural ones. I reward criticals. You manage to fall prone, um, but you do manage to get back up. You go to attack. You fall. There's a beat. You get back up again. It's like right, nothing <laughs> really happened, happened there. But yeah, basically your your movements halved because you've, cool. you've fallen over. Okay, so do I still get my bonus action? Yes. Good. Right. Okay. So my movements. Bollocks, that ruins what I was going to do for my thing right now. So that's 20, 15 foot to there. Oh, sorry. No, I meant from the top of the stairs. Oh, how tall is that building? It's like 30 foot in general. So, or how tall is this one? Which one? This one. You're determined to go on a roof, isn't you? She, she, she is. She loves being on roofs. <laughs> uh, 20 foot. <laughs> okay. In that case, she's going to... I'm just wondering whether she can get on the... Well, she's got 40 foot of movement, I suppose, isn't she? So, uh, it's halved because you fell over. So she's got 20 foot of movement. Okay. But I remember. 
step of the wind and your jump distance is doubled. Okay. Including your jump height? Jump distance and jump height are two different things. Would distance not be both ways or would distance only be length? Because I'll, I'll, would it not length rather than... I don't know. I don't well, know it'll be, that, it'll be double the height you can jump, which is your is, is a number plus your dexterity or something, isn't it? Something like that. I can't actually remember. It's three normally three plus your strength modifier for a high jump, but monks can do dope monk shit, so I, I can never remember... Yeah, because she's got a 40 foot walk of speed, but she's got. We apologise for this uh, break in the action while we work out the rules. We is learning. <laughs> Let's. Here's, here's a message from our sponsor. <laughs> Welcome to Bob's Auto Shack. We can take in any cars. <laughs> and we proudly sponsor the Trolls of the Two Tum Bridges podcast. <laughs> Welcome to Fairfield's Mortuary. You stab them, we slap them. <laughs> Welcome to Green Acres Crematorium. You kill them, and we grill them. <laughs> oh. And a Merry Christmas to all. Oh, here we go, jump. High jump is when you leap into the air, you can jump a number of feet equal to three plus your strength modifier if you moved at least ten feet on foot immediately before the jump. When you make a standing high jump, you can only jump half that distance. Well, I wouldn't be standing because I'd be going from here. Yeah, so it would be three plus here. your strength modifier. But how much is that? I'm sure there's something that said I could jump more than that because we worked that before. Too. Well, oh no, it was climbing rather than jump anyway, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, you were. Cl- yeah, you were climbing. You didn't jump up onto a rooftop. And if you think about That's it, it would thinking. be it would be a bit insane if you jumped twenty foot into the air. Um, be fucking cool though. It would be very <laughs> fucking cool. I do not. I do not disagree with you on that front. <laughs> there is a feat you can take which does that pretty much. Yep, pretty much, but you need to be about fifth level, I think. All right. Yeah, we're still only three. Scrap all of that. I'm thinking climbing. If it's climbable, I can make you have a roll for it to determine how well you managed to get your purchase. I think it's like half your half your walking speed. So it's, it's like, like difficult. L- it's like difficult longest, terrain. Longest six seconds of my life. This is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I, this happens quite regularly, to be honest. <laughs> I don't blame me for everything. So you just stop and try and work out what the hell you can or can't do. Uh, it's been a while though that we've been yeah behind. Ah, uh, I'm going to say Silicui. To be honest, given the distances and given the fact you fell over and lost half your distance, if you want to try and climb it, you can. You're not going to make it onto the roof by the time you've run out of movement. Do you know what? Then fuck it. Instead yeah. of that, she's going to spend a key point and do flurry of blows instead. Make it a key. <laughs> Uh, it's like right fuck this okay right do you also get that uh, advantage because i'm flanking that is true so that would both advantage as well wouldn't it so unarmed strikes or if you're using monk weapons yeah but because it's bonus i don't know if they count oh god that was terrible for both of those um so one of them was so the first the first of the two flurry blows seven and so that would be 12. Yep. Is that it? That will hit. You've got one more dice roll, I think, because you've rolled a two one, more dice. then a nine, then a one. So your second dice roll was oh, an no, extra no. one. The one, yeah, the one was for something else. That was that was from me being useless from my first attack. Yeah, which I have just realised was actually we did do that at advantage, but never mind. We've <laughs> that's, that's happened now. So and you <laughs> made me have a natural one. You made me fall over, miss my oh, yeah. attack, and then Look, oh I no, just, I, I always I, punish at the right time. I'm just trying to keep track of everything. All right, <laughs> <laughs> that was like half that was like half hour ago, guys. It's hard to remember that. Um, yeah. Okay, so the second attack would be sixteen plus five, so twenty-one is the second, and the first one was twelve. They both hit. Cool. Ooh. Deal me some damage. Mm, big deal. <laughs> so the first one is four points of damage, mm. uh, and then six points of damage for the second one. Okay, dokie. You give him a good smacking, and he looks a bit disorientated, but otherwise he's doing okay. Mm. All right. Uh, oh, and it, mm, nope. can't really I was about to ask if there's anything else you want to do on your go, but uh, <laughs> taking a healing potion would be um, that'd an be action. an action. Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay. Then no. Yep. <laughs> it's either an action or a bonus action. It says on a potion of healing. Either way, I've got neither. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. So <laughs> with that, we are round to the thugs. The thug in front of you, Siliqui, is going to make two attacks: one against you, and one against Zibby behind him to try and break up the flanking around him. 
Uh, so, Zibby, that's a 19. My armor class is 19. So, yep, it deals you a whopping three damage, Siliqui. Uh, Siliqui, Zibby, even. <laughs> it swings round and hits. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Ow! <laughs> Why the bloody hell are you with me? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> it hits Zibby, and then it hits Siliqui with a 17. Uh, so yeah. you, Siliqui, take 8 damage. Oh. He's a much, much better hit against you. Yeah, 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 But, you know, he might have gone down had he actually, like... Have you taken my points down rather than me do it? Yeah, I've done it. Yeah, yep. I was just about to do him, and I was like, shit, why have I only got 4? <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's why. You've been hit a few times. <laughs> the thug with the crossbow, however, seeing the giant spider, is going to fire at you, Rana. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, not incredible. That's a seven. No, nope, that doesn't hit. Uh, Kidex, you notice a crossbow bolt sail over your abdomen, but it just thuds into the uh, wooden crates on the other side. Zibby, it's your go. Right, I would like to uh, smack Thug Boy in front of me really hard with my hammer. Thuggy, right. Uh, right Kidex? Is- yeah. Give him a give him a good old smack for me. A uh, smack roll with advantage because we're still. Oh yep, yep. So I should just flank a Rooney at the same time. Oh, uh, very nice. So does a twenty four hit? <laughs> that actually misses. Uh, yeah, no, that yeah that hits. <laughs> what a, what a shame I don't crit on a nineteen as well. Still <laughs> never mind. Um, some of us have got it. Some of us haven't. It, you know, it's just one of those yeah, things. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm a cleric, so... Um, <laughs> so, 1d8 plus 5. Please be a nice number. Oh, that's okay, then. Yeah, seven. Seven. Uh, yeah, so 7 points of damage to the back of uh, Th- Thug's head. The the hammer blow comes in, and this guy is... Oh, he's really looking like he's on his last legs. That staggers him, but he's, he's still barely hanging on there. And also, Siliqui is really low on hit points, uh, I can tell, because yeah. she looks really <laughs> she looks really uncomfortable. Um, so I'm going to uh, healing word with my bonus action. Thank you. Uh, so that's D4 plus 3. Oh, nice. Oh, 7. So... I took Thank seven off of him and gave it to Siliqui. <laughs> nice, very, very nice. <laughs> you just you knock you knock the hit points out of him and into Siliqui. Yeah, I just yeah. knocked them, just <laughs> knock them straight through. Yeah. <laughs> How does that work? Okay, Rana the spider, you're up. Rana will bite puss in boots in the back of the leg. <laughs> uh, Kideki? I want to. I want to check out. I want to check out what happened to that that crossbow bolt. No. <laughs> Not so much because the crossbow bolt missed. Um, you sure? Yeah, you sure it's okay if you, if you want to. Rana is increasingly frustrated that both the spell and the web failed to have an effect. <laughs> Mate, um, it hit it hit a baby in a crate, crying out loud. You don't want to sort that out. <laughs> um, no, no, no it, it's cool. All right, um, sure. I mean, who yeah. am I to judge? Yeah, yeah. Rana, Rana's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> he is truly. Uh, I'm assuming advantage because yep. she's engaged. So first one will be a 15, so I'm assuming that will miss. That will Second miss. one is probably going to miss again, 17. Yeah, that misses, unfortunately. Man, okay. even with plus fives to hit. Okay, um, in which case, yeah, turn over. Ugh. Uh, Hideki, uh, it is now round to Kalahu, but Kalahu is out cold. Yep. Um, so... Uh, that passes on, and we are up to the top of the round. And I will draw don't, our attention. Don't forget to... the de- don't forget the death saving throw, Greg. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. Hold on. <laughs> Let me just find out. Ooh. Okay. Um, Percival. Yes. Your turn. Okay. So Percival once again brings up his rapier to the neck of Taban and says. I understand you've probably got some issues with this woman here. Not all of us like people who demand money from us, but I've heard that you have actually had a debt. So what are you going to do? Are you going to pay it back? Taban, as you guys have both got a turn right next to each other, if you want to have a bit of back and forth just now, you can do. Your problem is away. How many more of you must I make an example of before you know this is foolish? I think that you'll find that there'll be quite a few more people if you're not careful. Ah, 
Rana raises one of his legs behind Toban's back as though he's putting his hand up. Uh-huh. Saying, you at the back. You at the back. <laughs> <laughs> you boy. What do you got to say? Okay, so we aren't really out of the initiative just yet, unless Toban, you're stopping fighting. Nope. Nope. In that case. Okay. So yeah, that's the trouble. Is yeah, Taban and Percival can have this back and forth because they're right next to each other in initiative order. Okay. So you've had this little bit of back and forth of Percival. You saying your piece. Taban has responded. A Kenne may well come for you, as you know. She's one of the merchant princes, and she will come because you have damaged her pride. Either you come with us now, and we deal with this. Or I um, do something else. I haven't quite decided yet. <laughs> you sound, sound really decisive there, Percival. <laughs> uh, um, okay. So, uh, the question uh, again still stands to ban. I assume, are you still fighting? Sort of stop for a moment. Look up and say, How many more of you must I make an example of? Okay. I'm guessing that is a no. And if Percival's not doing anything else, I will. So, Percival. Uh, no, Percival is. <laughs> Are you holding an action again, basically, Percival? No. No? With that exchange, Percival then says, Well, of course, leopards don't change their spots, do they? And then slashes out at Tabam. Hmm? And rolls a 19. And hits. And let's see how he does. Uh, so that's 10 points of damage. Mm-hmm. 10 points of damage to uh, Tabam. Okay. And then uh, thrusts his. Um, yes, I'm going to say it. No, he thrusts his uh, his rapier. Thrusts his weapon, <laughs> mighty weapon. His mighty weapon uh, into the <laughs> face of Taban. Um, mm-hmm. uh, he's he's just trying to give him a scar or something, just so he will remember. Roll me an attack, please. <laughs> it's a natural one. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay, and it was all going uh, so well. Taban. Taban, yep. you you see what he's going to do. How will you react to what he's trying to do there? Uh, what are you attacking with? Uh, a rapier. Okay, so as the the rapier comes in for the first hit and 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 connects, um, Taban seems sort of <clears throat> and looks up at you. And as the second one comes in, he brings his shield up, dusts it off to the side, and says, "Stop! Enough." I would pay. Okay. Do you call out to the other thugs? I sort of just put my hand up to the to the other guys and say, "Enough! It is done." All right. And with that, we will drop out of initiative. Then the thug in front of you, Siliqui, is is looking rather defeated. And at Taban's call, he just sort of goes, uh, "Oh, all right, all right, okay," and just drops his drops his mace and even drops to his knees just like please don't smack me again the thug up on the stairs has reloaded his crossbow and is is bringing it up to fire again i said enough at your words to ban he holds there just sort of looking because he's not been damaged but he has seen okay this is this has gone south okay but i'm just gonna keep my crossbow on you and that is us out of initiative well done guys very Woo. well done sean well done mate yeah, well done. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Accent. Very great. Nice. And Sean is very, very good yeah. with his accent. He definitely gave me a run for my money. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you, it's close. It gets close and, sometimes. Uh, one last thing I want to do is, is anybody going to have a look at Kalahu? Nah, yeah, fuck I, will, I will cast, uh, well, I will trot over to Kalahu and I, if she's breathing, I will uh, cast Cure Wounds on her. Okay, With my so last you... spell slot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mate. So you come over and you you have a look over her, and it's it's quite easy to tell she is still alive. Uh, she's she's clearly knocked out. Looks a bit battered. You suspect there's the possibility her leg has broken again <laughs> somehow. Um, you just healed but that. With your <laughs> with it, with your with your cure wounds, you manage to properly stabilise her, and she sort of she blinks blearily and is just kind of like what. I, uh, wow. I, pay, I pay her no mind and sort of look at Percival and say uh, it has been a long time since I have faced a worthy opponent thank you your fight was honourable even without these tricks Rana I would like to uh, I would like to know what you're doing are you staying as a spider <laughs> <laughs> just walking along with no, you Rana will, Rana will change back into Rana um, 
angrily flicking his fingers as though he's casting a whole person spell at thin air <laughs> and staring at them <laughs> intently uh, when nothing happens. Um, okay. Does he end up looking like he's in West Side Story? <laughs> yeah, sort of. He'll, he'll glance around. He notes. Um, he'll notice, or he'll note that Siliqui looks pretty battered. So he'll go over and he will cast um, Cure Wounds. Uh, thank you. Uh, with with a level one spell slot, mm-hmm. um, which will heal one d eight plus three. So I'll just roll that quickly. So that will heal four. Because Ron is having an amazing evening when it comes to rolling dice. Oh, no. um, it's uh, fabulous. So, so yeah. That will, mild, that will mildly heal a small bruise, uh, <laughs> but ignore all of the major injuries that Silicon has suffered. When Rana sees that his healing spell has been so ineffective, he literally slaps his own casting hand <laughs> and then, muttering angrily in Cholton, um, gets out a large bag of macadamia nuts and just sits down grumpily <laughs> on the floor and starts eating them without talking to anyone. Okie dokie. Uh, all right then. So <laughs> he has he has indeed. Uh, to Man and Percival, you guys are having this sort of standoff of just like recognizing each other as uh, as good combatants. Percival, is there any particular reaction you're having to that? Percival uh, puts his uh, he he removes the the uh, rapier. Uh, and he he kind of puts it up to his his head so it's kind of vertical and gives a little nod and then uh, sheaths it um, <laughs> after wiping some of the uh, Taban's blood from it. <laughs> uh, says yes, yes. It's it's good to uh, to spar with people who are perhaps a little bit more melee. Mm. <laughs> I've missed yes. it. It's much better than this undead malarkey. Well, perhaps sometime in the future we can spar again. With that, he he reaches down to his side pouch and pulls a pouch from it, um, looking relatively heavy, just a leather pouch, and tosses it down on the ground where Kalahu is. Says, "Impatience, Kalahu. It's not a virtue. I had your money from today's games. I would have paid you back if you'd only wait." Kalahu on the ground is still a little bit, a little bit confused. It looks a little bit just like what? What? And looks down, and you guys look down as well. And as the pouch has fallen, it's spilled slightly, um, and the contents that come out are a number of gemstones that look sort of that they're, they're not quite gold, but they are sort of like a kind of deep yellow sort of color that are all each about sort of about about the size of your fist. Um, Oh, no. A very small fist. Um, However, there is... Steve's fist. Steve! Steve! As you're looking down at the gems, you notice that they're shining, not just in the the light of the sun, but there's actually a little ray of light there, and uh, Taban, I'd like you to roll a saving throw, please. A wisdom saving throw. (laughs) Oh, three. Oh, shit. (laughs) Uh, You are fascinated by this little ray of light, this little laser dot that seems to have appeared on the ground. (laughs) Really? You're doing that to the cat guy? Yeah. (laughs) And Percival and Percival and the others, well, Percival in particular, because you're standing there, it doesn't take you long to realise that Siliqui has taken out one of her ninja stars (laughs) and is using it to uh, create this little light show on the ground. (laughs) (laughs) I start start pouncing at the lights on the ground. Make me an attack roll, please. <laughs> it's true. Leopards really don't change their spots. Uh, uh, <laughs> 17. You manage to pounce very successfully at the spot, but as you as you lift up, you do realise there is nothing to catch. There's no light. Where'd he go? <laughs> and, <laughs> but you very quickly, after a little bit of fun, you do realise that that's, that Siliqui was the one causing it, and you just sort of uh, shake yourself and just realise, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Always a joker. Surely it's your biggest nemesis. <laughs> the one you never win. Now, can I can <laughs> I just say, now, were we meant to be uh, taking Taban? Um, I thought Akene wanted to see Taban. I thought yeah. she said, if we take she him. did. So Akene did want you to bring uh, Taban to her. She didn't specify exactly why but she just sort of said she would she would like to see Taban once you had made him pay for his lost bet okay it is up to you guys if you want to try and take Taban to Ekene um uh Taban of course it is also up to you whether or not you 
are willingly going to go with them to see a Kene or whether or not you will uh, attempt to dodge out of it. As you clean up, basically, and, and, and see that Kalahu is attended to, because she is once again beaten up, but mm. there's a slight grin on her face yep. as uh, she has actually got the money, even if she technically didn't get it. She offers you uh, three of the gemstones as payment, which was the uh, which effectively works out to the. Uh, I can't remember. I think I said it was like four million gold. It wasn't four million gold? No, it was a percentage um, he, of it. I he can't had five hundred gold pieces to pay, and we were offered. They were fifty. Was, yeah, they were worth fifty gold each. Greg. Yeah, and I, no, I, I remember that bit. 20, I'm just trying to remember 20%. exactly how much, what percentage of it Akene said that so, they could get. Oh, I see, uh, sorry. Yeah, 500 gold pieces to pay. Uh, we get uh, 20 I think it was cents, yeah, which I is 100 gold pieces. Um, uh, okay, so... Two stones. Yeah, so two stones then, yeah. So 100 gold pieces. So yeah, they're worth 50 each, and you guys get the two gemstones as payment for having uh, brought a man in, so to speak. Uh, you also get a reward in the fact that you guys, next time you long rest, will level up. Yay! Do you know, in, in an episode length of time, as in like for uh, our listeners, that's been about six months. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah. It has been ridiculously long. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I promise I'll try and get a bit more fights worked in so that you guys actually get to get to grips with how your players do in fights because we've done a lot of role play recently we have um and uh yeah so oh um so we're staying at our, our original levels but only until we've uh, gone back to the giggly squid or whatever to rest haven't we? and then we can yeah so yeah so the way that leveling up works is that you get the level up when yeah. you have had a long rest so that it's sort of like it resets everything anyway so just then yeah it, avoids you suddenly going from battered to i'm perfect and even better than i was before the fight uh, <laughs> in, in, in half a second yeah it's it's a reward for my god it's fine well <laughs> yes and no um that, <laughs> okay then so we, we we're not expecting to have a fight or anything though are we well you never know with us that it's the first time I can actually smile at you menacingly and you can actually see what I'm doing um <laughs> Kenne had asked your group to bring Taban to you once you had uh, dealt with him, but hadn't specified exactly what she wanted him for. Kalahu has just been sort of carried off, probably more like dragged off to the infirmary again. Um, again. With, uh, Rebroken yeah, leg again. Yeah, <laughs> cracked skull, all the works. Um, and you have... Uh, you, you guys are now standing... the attacks of... <laughs> just missed every single attack <laughs> so what are we doing <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened well um Taban what is your relationship with um, Ikene um, do you have any idea of um, if you went to see her or if we went with you what, what she would want from you or what she would well, do to we, you well I think we've we've got to take him if that's part of our deal why do you want to take Taban well, well, Taban, um, it's to do with our fee, you see. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure Akene is just going to want to say hi. Uh, DM, would I know Akene? You know Akene by reputation, Taban. Akene is probably one of the merchant princes that you are most familiar with, if not necessarily by actually meeting them, but you have definitely heard of them because Akene is the merchant prince that became a merchant prince of her winnings in the Colosseum the same building where you ply your own trade um, so she would be something of a something of a local legend to you you would know of her she was a, a prodigious fighter in the Colosseum and it's up to you exactly but it probably is if not a role model then sort of like an aspiring you want to be better than uh, Akene was um, in the ring Unlike Akene, though, you are not a slave. Akene actually bought her freedom with her winnings and was able to become a merchant prince. Akene is a pretty kick-ass female hardcore fighter. Yeah. I see that uh, Akene wants to look upon a true champion. Yeah, well, that might be it, but I'm pretty sure that she's already seen me, so I'm not sure if... <laughs> uh, very well said, fancy man. <laughs> oh, you noticed... I noticed it in the way that you uh, kicked my ass earlier. 
<laughs> I mean, he did. Percival did actually put up a very good fight in the in the last fight, actually. Rana looks sulky. What's the matter, Rana? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Rana, have you turned back into a human, or are you still like a, a still a spider? Sulky spider. <laughs> Sulky spider. <laughs> he just curls up in a corner somewhere. He's like, no, not coming down. Mandible. <laughs> I think I think Rana is Rana is like eight feet up the nearest wall, just hanging there, looking annoyed. <laughs> uh, and and hungry, like like really hungry. How are you doing, wee man? If you come down here, we're going to find some more fish curry. It's only around the corner. My treat. Rana's uh, petty palps look interested. They're, uh, they're twitching. They're twitching. He does some, does some really nice fish balls as well, which are not quite as weird as I, as they sound. In a in a in a very sort of creepy way, um, Rana just sets off like on the wall walking alongside you <laughs> then thinks better of it and uh, he he scuttles down um, and in a slightly sort of creepy sort of way as he sort of scuttles from the wall to the ground he sort of shimmers slightly and it's almost like he walks from one surface to the other starts off a spider and ends up a human and he sort of he sort of he motions purposefully towards the end of the street and says yes food quickly and then just looks very impatient <laughs> uh, we'll be back in five minutes. I just need to buy Wee Man some fish curry to uh, make him stop sulking a bit. He gets very hungry, doesn't he? It's fine. You don't want him getting hangry. I. Uh, so we might have to have two two lots. You you know, Taban, <laughs> you'd be really surprised at the amount of food that goes on in this group. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I too am yeah. a f- fan of food. In that case, as as I disappear, as I disappear around the corner. He's like, well, you can come and join us then if you like, Tabby. Not quite that hungry right now. You and Man Spider go eat. I thought cats like fish. So, so in so this conversation so far, this guy's ass yeah. and then going to get some food. Oh, it's fine. He's given us the money that, he's already given us the money that uh, he owes Akene. Uh, yeah, but we've got to take him to Akene. <laughs> I'm not going to spend that all on curry. So that was your actual payment. What Akene mm. asked you to do was to also bring him to bring him to her because she had felt that she and her son their honor had been slighted by the fact that uh, Taban hadn't paid for the lost bet against her son yeah. so she was asking you to do this in addition to the payment you got from that so you're right Siliqui you don't necessarily have to take him to Akene but she did ask you to do it and you are trying to get in Akene's good books it would moment. be awful although rude. she only offered me like 10% off of her freaking canoes like, when I was trying to negotiate <laughs> a freaking deal there's no deal at all. She's a tight ass. Let's tell you. <laughs> As a businesswoman, you don't make it. <laughs> Let's be fair. She's a she's a good business person. <laughs> You're a bad business person. You rolled for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Taban, Kenny has specifically asked to see you. And I know um, she, she, to be honest, she is a bit pissed off about you and her son. But, um... I mean, what, what do you think she would do to you? I mean, what, what's the situation? I think she would look upon Taban as true champion. Okay, that's decided. Shall we go? <laughs> we go now? This is fine with Rana. If you come and meet me and Wee Man at the, at the, at the restaurant, uh, uh, then it'd be fine. Pick you up from the... <laughs> Rana says we can go. We can uh, we can find, find food on the way as long as we go quickly. Takeaways. I hear, I hear they do things in buns now. Well, they do geckos on sticks, yeah, we, don't they? We're walking along with sort of like cu- curry in a curry in a basket. Yeah, <laughs> curry in a basket. <laughs> curry <laughs> <in> a basket. <laughs> basket curry. <laughs> Sorry, just <sighs> look, make rice. Stick, stick, I've got, I've got, rice I've got the, the old bottom. soup sieve out. Yeah, <laughs> a colander of soup, please. Mm, amazing. So, so you don't actually you have no a r- pre-arranged uh, meeting place. Unlike the last time you met with the Kenne, you don't actually yeah. know exactly where she would be. So you have two choices of where you could go for the most likely places. You could go to her villa, which you would know from your uh, chat with Wakanga. Or you could go to Golden Throne, which is the official seat of authority in uh, Port Nianzaro, uh, where you might find a Kenny. You might you might not, but at least it would, either place would be a starting place to try and work out where she is if she's not at either of those places. Uh, would, would she not be at the Dinosaur Pens? It's a bit late, isn't it? Isn't it? I don't know. She could be, but... I mean, she might be, but you don't know that. 
She could be a shop. She could be yeah, she could shop. She could be somewhere completely yeah. different. Well, the thing is, I mean, the dinosaur pens are like two hundred yards that way, so we might as well we might as well go and have a, a wander there first because it's the closest. Her son might know where she like, is. Then he'll be at the dinosaur oh, pens. Okay. Zibby, Zibby, you're voting for going. So, of the two options I gave you, you chose option C. Uh, you want to go to the <laughs> dinosaur pens? <laughs> if we go there, if she's Natalia, not there, what we... yeah. If, if we go there, if she's not there, we could ask her son because he might be there instead, and he might know where she is. Um, okay, failing cool. that, we've also got the choice of Wakanga might know where she is, possibly. So we could ask him. We know where he lives. We know where you know it, it's not a problem for us to go and knock on his door compared to knocking on other random people's doors. That yeah, that's a fair point, I suppose. It does mean we're dragging to ban all over Port Nizaro going, we've got to find this woman that we've got to hand you over to. Well, <laughs> I can wait in bar. It's no problem for me to wait in bar. You come back when you find it, get <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is that is technically that is also that is also a point. Is that yeah, Taman? If you just don't want to go with them, you can do. But <laughs> I, can, I can wait with him. You can come back and find us both. It'll be fine. Yes. Do you like wish okay. you? Um... Yes. But Zibby, the problem is with that is I imagine Taman is um has quite a lot of friends in this area, and and is known. Whereas you're not really known. And and if they jump to you, for example, no, but... Taban is t- honourable man. Taban be defeated. The man is battle. a man of his word, uh, a cat of his word. Can I just point out, <laughs> my my friend, I big man upstairs, is bigger than all of his friends, so it's fine. Who is big man upstairs? Oh, let me tell you about my friend Thor. You'll <laughs> love him. <laughs> Let's do this over drink. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can chat. You can chat while you're walking. So. Yeah. Um, I think so. I believe your first stop is you're heading I have for some pamphlets. Actually, can I? I'm just thinking: is it worth myself and Percival going to try and find a Kenny? And if I leave Rana with you as well, that way, Rana, if you need to wild shape or anything, you, you can. But you can also get food if you go somewhere at a bar with food, with uh, food as well. And me and Percival can go around and find a Kenny. Then we'll come back for you. Rana waves his hand and says, uh... Yeah. Rana, Rana <laughs> inhales the nearest morsel of food and he sort of, he, he waves his hand and he says, uh, no more, uh, no more shaping for some time. Not until I have slept. But at the very come... least, Rana, if, if, um, Taban gives you shit, you can at least beat him, can't you? Whip his ass. If you need to. Rana... <laughs> Rana looks up and goes, I've seen Rana's ice daggers and, sh- and stuff like that. They're deadly. R- Rana closes his eyes and mutters under his breath um, in Charlton, uh, but doesn't say anything. <laughs> ah, so this will be an interesting thing, is uh, whatever you said, Taban would understand. <laughs> Taban would know Charlton as well. Taban laughs. I like this one too. He can come drink with us. Yeah, that might be that might be an addition to your character, Sean. But yeah, I did already decide that uh, Taban would also understand Cholton. Makes sense. He's he lives there. This means Rana will have to be a little bit careful about the shit he talks uh, that only Greg knows about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, the shit he talks. Or does uh, Taban speak Goblin at all? Because the other thing as well is um, Rana seems to slight <laughs> people in Goblin to goblins. <laughs> yeah. you, no you don't know. You there. might find out later on down yeah. the line. You've no, yeah, you've no idea what his languages are. Okay, so Taban, Zibi, and Rana are basically going to go get dinner and possibly drinks. Well, I say dinner, lunch. Day drinking. Um, and then Percival and Siliqui, you guys are going to go searching for a Kenne and then come back for them later? I personally, I would say that uh, if, if we just split up, we make it a bit quicker so that I can, or whoever, perhaps goes to her villa. That might be the best option there. I'm not sure. Okay. So, you th- so you're thinking one of you should go to the villa and another one should go somewhere else? Either the Dino Dens or... Maybe go and find yeah, or... that's fine. You think? Just, just, just get it all done nice and fast and then... Okay. You know, it's, it, was, it was like uh, s- sort of like midday when we had More that less, fight, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, it was sort of just, just before after. midday, it's actually. Like, this yeah. is sort of like you're now getting on to about 12 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so there's, uh, there shouldn't be any danger as such. Also, we did, we did literally get run over by a Triceratops, so... Well, whatever else I decide this to throw in. Yeah. Right? It is. That's true. It is. I put my paws either yeah. side of me to Rana on, on one side and Zibby on the other and say, 
Come inside. We eat and drink together. Uh, sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. You guys can hang out then at the Enchanted Dinosaur, which is, uh, for you, Sean, Saban, that is your sort of your regular horn. This is probably... If not where you stay, probably near where you stay um, within Portney and Zaro. Rough and ready kind of tavern, as opposed to the giggling squid, which uh, you guys would have been used to so far. Uh, it's a little, it's a little bit rougher. Um, Zibby, you would notice as you sort of like go in and have a drink, you'd notice Tobias. Your contact is even there as well. You spot him in one corner drinking with some friends of his. I ignore him. You ignore him. I thought yes. you would. Um, first of all, you set out. Um, you have your quick discussion with uh, Siliqui, and she decides to go one way. You go another. You, which one are you going to go to? Where are you going to start your search for? Uh, uh, I was, I was going to try uh, a Kenne's villa. You're going to try a Kenne's villa. Okay, so as you can actually see from the from the map you've got here, uh, a Kenne is actually right next to Golden Throne, but you have to sort of walk up past uh, the Temple of Severas and Wakangas in order to get there. There isn't really a quick way up onto the hill where her villa is located as you make your way through the city the city is bustling today it's a clear day as opposed to the last few days that have been you know quite downpoured the streets are you know once again flourishing you've got dinosaurs coming here and there uh, could you roll for me please a d20 and tell me what you get good first roll of the evening uh, uh, right okay so that I is roll first. A, mag- a magnificent 19 all right then can i get you please to roll me a d100 Oh. <laughs> Second roll of the night. <laughs> Here we go. 85. Okay, 85, 85, 85. Spontaneous Down. heart attack. Yes. <laughs> uh, eh, if only I was with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> as you are walking, as you are walking through the streets of Port Nianzaro, taking in the sights, having a look at all these magnificent animals that are around you. You got the Triceratopses and the uh, the Hadrosauruses that are used to sort of pull pull carts around this this weird world that again is still still taking a little getting used to. Uh, one thing one thing comes to you that is very familiar to any city goer is you feel a sudden sort of <laughs> on your shoulder, and you look to one side and realise something, probably a parrot that just flew overhead, has just shat on your shoulder. Apparently, some people consider it good luck. Percival looks around for, I don't know, something just to sort of wipe it off or see where it came from at the same time. You know, they're, they're kind of like looking up into the air vaguely like, okay. Re-roll, roll a new, roll a new character. Percival takes out his crossbow, aims at, no, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's a bit extreme, but I like it. <laughs>